This is a Fox News Alert. I'm Brett Baer in Washington. We have two Fox News exclusives tonight. Bill Hemmer is traveling with the Attorney General in El Salvador and has William Barr's first interview in that role. Barr has questions about the origins of the Russia investigation and is vowing to get to the bottom of it. We will get to that in just a moment. But first, our other exclusive. An interview with the brother of former National Security Advisor Michael Flynn, who is back in the news after a federal judge ordered parts of the Mueller report to be unredacted and made public in the criminal case against Michael Flynn. It's the first time a federal judge has ordered the Justice Department to make public portions of the report the agency had kept secret. Chief Intelligence Correspondent Catherine Harris has been following this case from the beginning and has this interview. Good evening, Catherine. Thank you, Brett, and good evening. Confirmation that the FBI investigation of Mike Flynn began earlier than previously reported blindsided his family. Joe Flynn says it's evidence of a long-running, high-level effort to, quote, trip up and trap his brother, as a federal judge orders the release of more secret documents. New special counsel records show former National Security Advisor Mike Flynn reported multiple instances before and after his guilty plea where he or his lawyers got calls from individuals connected to the administration or Congress, quote, that could have affected both his willingness to cooperate and the completeness of that cooperation. The defendant even provided a voicemail recording of one such communication. Sources close to the matter tell Fox Flynn had a joint defense agreement with the president's legal team. And after Flynn began cooperating with the special counsel, the president's lawyers want to protect privileged material. It was an absolute surprise. Speaking exclusively to Fox, Flynn's brother is reacting to the Mueller report and a key section indicating the retired general was already under FBI investigation during the 2016 presidential transition. General Flynn went through uh, 19 sessions with the special counsel, approximately 90 hours of torturous interviews, and this never came up the entire time. Buried in volume two, the report states that investigators came across the FBI probe while examining, quote, Flynn's discussion of sanctions with Russian Ambassador Kislyak. Previously, the FBI had opened an investigation of Flynn based on his relationship with the Russian government. Flynn's contacts with Kislyak became a key component of that investigation. That timing matters because it was previously thought Flynn's phone calls with Kislyak that led to Flynn's termination for lying prompted the FBI case. A 27-year Justice Department veteran reviewed the passage. It looks pretty clear to me that the use of the word previously is suggesting an independent investigation. Footnotes cite FBI interviews, known as a 302 with former Acting Assistant Attorney General Mary McCord, who helped steer the Russia probe, and former FBI Director James Comey. The president tweeted, it now seems General Flynn was under investigation long before was common knowledge. Why was I not told so that I could make a change? Flynn's brother says the passage backs up the family's long-held concerns. Because of his vocal criticism of the Obama administration, and specifically the intelligence community, which he came out of, my suspicion is that they were doing everything they could to trip him up and to trap him. The reference to Russian government contacts may be this 2015 Moscow dinner, where Flynn sat next to the Russian president, but Joe Flynn says his brother, who had led military intelligence, kept them in the loop. He briefed the DIA prior to that, and he briefed the DIA after that. The House Republican Russia report found there was no FBI briefing warning the Trump campaign that the Bureau was running a counterintelligence case on Flynn. The special counsel's office declined to comment for our reporting, Brett. More to come on this. Captain, thank You're you. Welcome.